Hello again and uh, welcome to uh, the last uh, presentation of uh, this marathon day. Uh, we have with us uh, Daniel Fau from uh, Tujou with uh, another champion idea for uh, how we can uh, truly make uh, Type 3 global. So uh, let's uh, hear uh, Daniel and uh, Tujou. Meet Tujou. This usually is a, is a session where I demonstrate um, what um, cognac here? Oh, nice. Um, where I demonstrate what's uh, up with Tuju and uh, where I invite, invite you to meet Tuju. So, Tuju, as we repeatedly said, is a type of three website builder. And um, I just want to skip you through the, through the major points um, that are essential for us. And afterwards, um, I will give you a short look at the system. So, basically, it's um, I'm not sure if this is turned upside down. Um, maybe someone in the chat can tell me if this, if you can read. Basically, Tuju was our ID in 2011, um, which uh, as well brought uh, Matthias and uh, Robert to introduce a Type of 3 uh, startup package. So we thought, as our projects are getting big, bigger and bigger, we are losing those small and medium businesses. And those used to be the basis our, of our business success. So that's where Type of 3 grew. And um, to me, it always seemed like when you're losing that customer base, you are somehow um, losing the, the whole um, education system and no one is um, growing afterwards. So projects got bigger and bigger. We had problems hiring um, staff and yeah, we couldn't uh, support clients we had for years. So one after one, they dropped out of our portfolio, which doesn't make any businessman happy because um, it's on first hand personal experience you had with them over years. And then of course um, you want uh, happy clients and happy customers. So that's what we, what we somehow lost, but um, okay. I'm going to get back. So the idea was to you that's uh, from 2011. And luckily this is um, the, the synonym for entry to a market or entering a stage in Japanese. So that went quite handy. And of course we took off on that one. And um, yeah, to you in a nutshell, just to skip you through and then we, I will show you the front end and the back end. Um, we can provide websites within minutes, which is essential for us. So we skip the whole uh, offering process. If anyone asks us for a website and if it's a small store, a company, whatever, um, he has it within an instance, let's keep it like that. And um, in our in our regular process, he gets it with his logo and customization already done. So he can go right into editing and um, or ordering, if so. So then there is no coding necessary. Why? Because um, we too think that web development got really complicated. So if you want to get into the basic um, basic knowledge, it takes time. And that's what I heard today very often. It takes time and you need to really adapt and, um, and develop own skills. And sometimes you don't really need that or you don't even want that because you want to build up content. Maybe you don't want to do anything like coding and you want to do something different like SEO and so on. So no coding necessary. And it should be affordable because as we all heard today, we depend on different markets and the world have different has different price tags and i think that's quite essential because of course in a big city for a big corporation you can charge the fees you need to survive as a company but that gets way harder when you have to make a living out of small and small and medium businesses maybe um when the the environment and the ecosystem and the private sector is not that established so you got to be affordable that's what it's going to be and we thought, why not combine the best of both worlds? We have a great open source system and um, we know what it feels like if you can just order your website service online and start building a website as yeah, many services um, are doing as of now, like Weebly, Wix, um, Squarespace, Jimdo in Germany. So there are plenty of providers out there. Why not just join the club and offer a solution which does the same but you can opt out like um, you are quitting your contract, but you keep the website and all the ecosystem and the content management system so you can develop it further on your own. That's the basic idea. 
And yeah, that's where we are, toujours. More value, less cost, that was the main idea. And I will skip through those a little bit faster. Of course, we can't do everything perfect because it's a standardized system. So this means the Pareto principle is applied. We do 80% very good for a very affordable price, but the 20% which are individual will or might be um, unaffordable within that system, but that's where um, the whole installation is handled to an agency for individual development. All right, so what does it mean? More value, less cost. We do the hosting, it's always included. The CMS, of course, it's included. UX, UI, the whole front end included. So structure and content data, okay. We do have the structure and we are tagging and we have your CO included, but that's what you got to do on your own because that's your content. And the whole search engine optimization as well. And there we are, design as well included, because um, as we heard from Matthias before, you got to serve templates and themes. Without them, it doesn't really work because one got to even got to get a, a vision of what it looks like. So if you're not supporting that, that basic need, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not really handy and appealing. All right, and interfaces. Of course, we can um, use APIs to get content into a Tuju installation, but that's not out of the box. All right, and now what I'm often receiving as a question, um, but what about our staff? Like, do we still need developers? I heard this quite often. Um, you won't uh, have to ask the question because um, the small and medium businesses are usually not your average business. That's no one of us caters them really well and your developers can focus on real projects, which means you can onboard a new client and the need for a developer um, is lessened or lowered to a, to a level where it's, yeah, where it's quite easy to run a business because you don't have to, to divide and manage your, your most valuable resource, valuable resource because um, your devs have less time. All right tailor-made for small and medium enterprises. So focus on the stuff you have to do on a website on itself. Um, no, we are not killing agency business. I'm going through this a little bit faster because um, that's what uh, a normal advertising agency is always asking when we are pitching to you for them as a service. You can do more projects faster. Um, as I mentioned today, we uh, have a colleague of us, uh, Lisa. She did, I think, 40 relaunches this year. That's quite something. So then you're increasing revenue because of course you can build up new staff and it doesn't have to be development, which all gives us a, a more stable stand financially. And you can build up a customer base for development, which means once your customer outgrows a basic service, of course they are ready for development and they hopefully can afford it, especially if they are a startup and they grow over time. All right. so. Um, it fits the budget of small and medium enterprises. Um, we do have, have a free preview and demo, and I will get to that pretty quick. And you can um, offer services as an agency afterwards, like um, search engine optimization, search engine marketing, all those things we usually have in our portfolio. So you can get into consulting real quick without the development part. All right, let's have a look. I will go out of the presentation and will show you my screen because I do have our newest theme for you. Um, it's available for um, agencies since August and we will offer it to the wider audience in January. So what you can see, we are trying to make Tuju way more appealing. So this was especially built for um, attracting agencies and um, younger people. We have a, um, let's see if I can, fix this year. We have a strictly mobile navigation and you can all visit this website on the link I will post. But um, at first, let's have a look in the, in the system. So I will turn around. What you see as of now is our new front end. Of course, you can scroll the whole site. The template is ready. And um, don't get freaked out. That's real German um, lorem ipsum. It's just Bavarian lorem ipsum. So 
if you're having beer right now, I think that fits. So, yeah, just a modern website, I'd say. And now let's look into the backend, as you all want to see this. So, to you usually comes with a strictly um, restricted access because we're not giving away admin um, access. That's just because we have we are um, uh, um, yeah we are reliable for the whole system. So um, anything that can crash the system is permitted, but the whole system is configured properly. We do have everything you need to know, and you are you have in your own installation probably. We do have um, a configuration theme, which means you can configure your site over here. We do have your CEO integrated. We do have um, the block extension integrated, and let's get into configuration. So as I mentioned before, I'd um, like agencies to be able to um, set up the whole system for themselves. So it doesn't look like that out of the box. So you got to do some um, tweaks. Those tweaks are, you got to choose a theme. We do have four as of now, um, three pretty plain ones, um, which mostly differ in navigation and style. The Midatsu theme is the newest, um, and for the record, Midatsu means stand out in Japanese, and Hisu means um, plain, pretty interesting. Tabi means travel, and Tuju is our basic theme, which is for entering a market, of course. So, page title for the whole website, light or dark navigation. Sorry, this is German. Maybe I can just switch this as we are international. And of course, we can add as many languages as you want in the front end as well. I love live demos. So light navigation, dark navigation. What you want to show in the top bar? This doesn't apply for every theme, but right now it's the top bar logo. How do you want your contact information to be displayed? That usually affects just um, what you see here. Our contact, pretty nice. And do you want to show it at all? Okay, so for the agency configuration, you simply upload your logo. Um, you have several several files available, like uh, the negative logo, the footer logo, top bar logo. These are all necessary in um, some themes. In some some themes, they aren't really necessary. Then you configure the size um, without coding, as of course. Then you just um, choose the font you want to use. You can use custom fonts as well. We usually just take Google fonts and we are using them compliant to data protection laws, which means we are downloading the font on the server and we are serving them from our own servers. All right, then colors, the basic background um, font colors um, and then primary colors, secondary colors, usually what you are, uh, what you learn during your design studies um, that caters the most requirements. Then social media accounts, just insert them, insert them. Analytics, as of now, only Google Analytics. Matomo is uh, on its way. We are offering it as a service, so you don't really have to think about how is your stuff hosted. Um, it works pretty well with Google, even with uh, the new um, Analytics 4 properties, so we are ready for that. For Europe and all the other countries that are GDPR um, level, we offer a basic GDPR um, structure, so you can yeah, do whatever you need, show the consent dialogue, um, you can uh, configure how the Google cookies are, um, are configured, um, you can check the uh, maps video um, elements, that means if you don't have the consent from your user, he is automatically confronted with a show me the content um, on the website, so um, it's all GDPR compliant. And then, of course, we do have um, a small section where you can change small parts if you want to. So that's still agency level, uh, advertisement agency level. And that's usually what um, what's what they do, like change a color of a link, um, maybe anything smaller. So no no big deal. And then we, of course, have a website overlay. You won't be able to know what this means until you have a COVID situation or anything different. For example, if we visit a Tuju website, I'm picking an individual one, this is an overlay. 
like you have to ask and um, configure things in advance of visiting the website. For example, this one is for alcohol. I think that's suitable as of now because, um, yeah, it is. So I'm older than 18 years as I think all the viewers are older as well. I can click yes. And as of now, the whole website is visible and then a cookie is saved. So we remember what you configured. And as I am here, um, you already see, we do have a lot of um, individualization possible. So anytime you are using a, um, a theme, you can really configure it to the max if you want to. And what do we do? We are offering this, especially to agencies. So we want you to get on board and um, offer it to your market. And I'd get into a little discussion for you. So that link Meet Midatsu is kind of official. You can use it. I will post it in the chat. And now I think it's about discussion because um, it's always a dialogue um, pitching to you to a professional audience. So you can see me again. And I will open the chat. So that's basically what it does. And now imagine what you can do if you don't have to install uh, Typo 3 anymore on a, for a small business. You can offer it as a, at a fixed price. The design comes within. And you can just go out there, um, hire sales staff, and um, get in, get right into consulting and offer the service as you go. That's basically the idea we are pitching. And yeah, let's see if anyone asked anything. You're all into drinking as of now, so that's hard for me. Happy clients, happy lives. All right, everything is pitched as of now. So I don't really have to show you that much because um, I invite you to test it by yourself. So if you read was what Fabian um, was posting in, in the chat, you basically can again get a free demo immediately. And if you want one, just um, ask us and then we can get into a discussion how we can conquer new markets with um, with this in the background. Um, for example, um, when I think of the African market, of course, we could offer it cheaper. And that's the basic thought. So we can cater it to the special needs of a market. And we don't have to wait until there is a, a, a deaf ecosystem. So you can start away right away. Of course, Steve. Um, so you slept, Stevo. We talked this morning. Um, I do have um, uh, kind of uh, eye problems as of now. Yes, we encourage our clients to edit their own content. Um, how does it work? Um, we do have a full English and German documentation, which includes um, some video footage in German. So here is the external content for HTML. We do have videos in German. And we do have a full documentation with tutorials in English describing any element we have in the whole system. So if you want to check anything like maybe um, how to edit page content, it's described as well, um, split it up in the different sections. And um, yeah, so you can give it uh, to editors and they can edit content right away. For example, looking at content elements, we have, uh, I think, more than 150 content elements. You're not really able to configure anything complicated. So when you think of text, we simply show you the, the, the RT or the CK editor. Uh, what is uh, yeah the rich, te rich text editor? So that's all you see. You, you won't get any field which is not necessarily for the, necessary for the thing you need to do right now. But of course, we kept all the type of three specific configurations in the settings tab. So you can still configure the name. So it's used for in-page navigation. Um, the visibility, if there is a divider afterwards, and the um, start and end date of a, an element. And a special thing, of course, is um, it's all um, mobile first and responsive by design. So um, 
whenever you think of those three teasers, of course you choose them because they appeal to you in the way they are shown, but we think of the usage in different uh, viewports. So let's get this over to me. Responsive. I love those tests because they really are a challenge because it can break really fast. So in this theme, you see it's three teasers side by side, three content cards. And then when we don't have enough space, this one is pretty simple because it just um, drops them all in a row. So you don't really have a sidebar or anything else you know from WordPress. So it's just um, we we arrange any content elements so it's um, context relevant, which means if you have a, uh, a desktop website with a text on the top and the contact bar on the right, it's not dropping to the end of the site. So it's just dropping under the uh, introduction. So it's still what you want to, it still caters what you wanted to do, but it's not, um, it, there's no necessity to configure anything. So that's pretty hard developing all the content elements because of course it takes a long time to to get it into a standard standardized behavior that's of course longer than for a regular customer so did i miss anything so steve i, I hope i did answer your questions but of course um our own staff is always faster within the system most of our clients choose to um to give us uh, just a, a project of content editing. Sometimes we're even writing the content on ourselves. And Tuju is by itself designed to get different professions on board, which means you save money so you can spend more money, maybe on a better text, maybe on uh, hiring a photographer. So it's basically made to get up better, better websites without spending everything on the technology and keeping it stable and sustainable. Yeah, I know, Florian, missing themes was one of our things. And even right now, the bootstrap theme, of course, it is nice. Um, but we just cater everything we develop for our own use case. So, of course, we do have performance um, uh, benefits, I'd say. And we are able to update. Oh, one interesting thing. I always forget that because it's so easy for us. We update every installation by default, which means it's a real software as a service. You don't have to send us an email, hey, I need a new version. So whenever there is something new, for example, yesterday, I think yesterday there was a new version of uh, 10 coming out. Um, our clients had that version applied to their system before it was announced in the announcement channel of Slack. And yes, unless we have a partner program, so um, on the Tuju website, we definitely want, um, oh, that's what, sorry, I think I only have this in German. I have to translate this. Um, of course, a lot of um, agencies we talk to um, get on board. So thanks, Olivier, for trusting our system. Um, he's already a partner and then um, it, it grows. But of course, um, we want to enter markets with partners in the local market. For example, today um, I saw Spain, Africa, um, New Zealand, Stevo, as we talked in the morning, um, we can easily translate the, the whole website in local languages. Um, if it's in English, it's perfect. We do have um, some domains reserved. So there's a, a, a Canadian domain. We do have the .com domain. Um, we have a New Zealand domain. So of course, we want to encourage you to be a partner in your local market so we can help you grow a business because of course that's what we do it's expanding type of three and hopefully we will get those clients ready for individual development in uh, in the near future and yeah how many installations did we do we started 2018 maybe interesting including demo installations and all that stuff it's way over a thousand installations um this year alone um yeah we increased it uh, by a few hundred all right. Gaming time. I don't even know what this means. So if there are no questions left, um, I'd like you to try it. 
just try it and give us feedback because anytime you give us feedback, the whole system gets better. That's basically what everything is all about. So um, even first level support for agencies is free. So when you figure out there's a problem, um, I'll take Olivier as an example. He has, has two or three installations, I guess. I'm not sure how many there are, Olivier, but anytime he, um, he locates a bug or something else, um, he can use our support system and we are eagerly fixing that bug because we want the best stable user experience out there. And that's what it's all about, I guess. So all in the favor of type of three. If there are no questions left, I will wait a few seconds and then I will get a real beer. No? All right, then. Thank you. We still have some left, so if you want, um, we, we saved some um, years ago. So if you want a, a Type of 3 mark, maybe we can have a deal. If you have your first uh, Type of 3 customer no, uh, for Tijoux, no matter the, the market, um, why not um, send you one of these? A mobile app. Um, Basically, the Type of 3 uh, website or the content management system is um, mobile device optimized by itself. So I'm not sure if we, if we really need an app. Or maybe you, need, you, may, you mean um, PWA. That would be possible. We can discuss this later. Let's get some beer, I guess, because you, they can justify their website from the phone easily. Just try to log in into a Type of 3 web um, content management system on on your mobile phone. It works. I'm doing the um, um, the league results of the German Bundesliga from a mobile device. All right. Thanks. So I'll leave. Let's see you for one or two beers uh, in a few minutes. I'm going home.